Hey everybody, welcome back. So this week we're going to kick it off. Um, well, I'll just say the other day, the other night we had a conversation mm -hmm. and we were talking about the non-believers and believers. But um, when you're a non-believer, like, and you have so many questions, um, how do you find out these questions? Ashley, like, I wish I could just record this conversation because I guess yeah. we just organically were bringing some things out. But yeah. she's like, if you have questions, and then she's like, well, just go ask God. And I said, sometimes you can, but if you don't know God or don't know how God speaks, you go to God, someone told you to do that, and you don't get an answer, so you're leaving actually more confused and when you first started. Yeah, and I didn't even think like, okay, if you're a non-believer, then you probably don't even like believe in God or even understand that whole concept of God. So, um, but even for the believer, you yeah. know, say, oh, go to God, and it's like, yeah. what does that look like? You yeah. know, okay, I went and asked God, and I heard nothing. So, yeah. is that even productive? So it's not just a non-believer; yeah. it's the believer also. All right. So how about when we? How about let's start with the non-believer. Okay. Um, what would you tell them if they had questions or like they were confused about some things and just, you know, had a few questions of how this whole thing works? Like, what would you tell them? Because you can't say, oh, ask God. He'll reveal himself to you. Well, number one, like I would tell them it's okay to have questions yeah. and it's okay to ask those questions. I know a lot of times uh, people feel like, oh, I can't ask that or, you know, it'll disqualify me or, you know, I'm too ashamed. And I'm like, number one, first and foremost, ask your questions. I know when I used to lead the college ministry back in New Jersey, I loved that time because that's when you get to really break down the walls and open up and reveal your heart and then also get honest answers. Yeah. So number one, don't be afraid to ask those questions. And then number two, you know, if you don't know God, you don't believe in God, you're not sure about what this all looks like, Get around some people that do and ask them some questions mm -hmm. about their faith, about what they believe, about what the Bible says. Yeah. And understand we all don't have all the answers. So if they don't get the answer that you're looking for, keep searching out other people just to ask the questions. Yeah. Well, we also talked about like when God speaks and then we don't know or, or we feel like he hasn't answered our prayers or he hasn't spoken back when we ask him something. Mm -hmm. Like, what does that look like? Like... How do we know when God speaks to us? And yeah. I believe we did a video like this before, but it's it's still so relevant. Like, how do we know, like, when we don't hear from him? So this goes for a person that believes in God, a person that doesn't know. Right. It. It's like, okay, I go in a quiet place, and I say, God, here I am, and God doesn't speak. And it's like, how do we know how God actually speaks? Mm -hmm. And the beauty of it is that God speaks in so many different ways right one scripture in the bible says the heavens declare the glory of god or it's right. like the heavens the skies the creation they speak to us about who god is so sometimes we can take walks in nature you know and just just see certain things and all of a sudden we can start to see the creator behind the creation mm -hmm. and seeing how things work together in nature can start to speak to us mm -hmm. in our life uh, many times i know well, growing up, it's like, um, I wanted to hear an actual voice. Right. And yeah. I was always looking for this actual voice. Yeah. And many times, it didn't, be honest, it didn't happen. I know, that, but then there were specific times where I used to hear my father's voice. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't my father telling me something in the past. It was like some type of uh, directive or encouragement. Mm -hmm. But I heard my actual father's voice in my head. And I link that to the scripture in Samuel, where mm -hmm. Samuel thought he heard um, the prophet Eli speaking and calling him at night. Mm -hmm. And he went to him, and he's like, I ain't calling you. Go back to bed, boy. Go back right. to bed. And he said, so next time you think you hear me calling you, mm -hmm. say, speak, Lord, your servant is listening. And so mm -hmm. God was speaking and trying to reach Samuel through the voice of someone familiar to him. Mm -hmm. So sometimes, you know, we don't want to discredit God using other people's voices to speak on the inside right. of our heart. Other times, it's just simple nudges. It's not an audible voice. It's just, you know, little feelings that you just know to be true. Yeah. Or you know to say, you know, this is what I'm supposed to follow. Or this is the direction I'm supposed yeah. to go. Yeah. And, I mean, there's so many things that, you know, God can speak to us through dreams. He can speak to us through music. That's he, me. He can speak to us through great other people. Yeah. You know, he has put people on earth to help each other. And many times when we don't want to socialize with certain people... We can hinder ourselves 
from actually hearing from God yeah. through other people. Yeah, don't isolate yourself for sure. Yeah. And then one of the easiest things, I mean, God is, picture this, in a different realm. Say spiritual realm. Mm -hmm. So let's say realm A. But we live in realm B. Mm -hmm. And if we're expecting God to always speak to us in realm B this way, how we read about it or how we saw someone else's experience, right. we don't always get it that way and we say, oh, God's not talking to me. Yeah. Or, so then it's like, so God's over here in realm A. Mm -hmm. And the two don't connect. What he's done is he's coming to realm B and he's inspired the Bible and put his words in paper mm -hmm. in a realm where we can access it. So yeah. now, okay, God, I don't hear him audibly, but I can open up the Bible and the Bible can actually read me. The Bible can speak to me in my situation. Right. Yeah, some of the stories are ancient and, you know, they may not be relevant, but there is so much if you take some time to read and say, what can I get out of this to apply to my life? And you can start to hear God speak from an ancient text. Mm -hmm. And it many times we don't read that much. Or, yeah. you know, in society so fast, if it's not quick. But we can take some time and sit down and open up the book. We can start to begin to become familiar with God's voice just from the words on the page. Yeah, I loved when the other night how you said, I've seen God do it before, I know he'll do it again. And you was like, well, you don't know how God is going right, to come because right. he might not come like that again. Yeah, it's like God spoke to me when I was 12 at a you know youth camp and right. an altar call. And I knew God spoke to me. So every time I want God to speak, it's got to be at an altar. And it's like, God yeah. said, I'm bigger than that. I don't have to come. Or it could be like, I had a dream and everything lined up. So every time I'm expecting God to speak to me right. that way, right. and it's like, God, don't put him in a box. He may speak, you know, with the wind blowing on your face in a walk in a park. Yeah. You know, it could be, you know, somebody, a random stranger coming up and saying something to you. Mm -hmm. And you'd be like, why did they do that? It could have been God speaking through them. Right. You know, it could be in a pastor's message. It could be in a song you hear on the radio. It could be so many things. And right. if we limit God to saying it's got to come this way, we miss him shouting at us over here and over here. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, he... He can do things over and over again, right. but I think he also can do things very differently. Yeah. So don't always just be looking for some burning bush like Moses. Right. You know, he might be like, you know what, in the quietness of you doing your laundry, he might visit you there. You know, right. it might just be in reading a simple devotion. He wants to speak to you there or, you know, you just have this unction when someone passes yeah. you, do something kind to them. Yeah. It's like, oh, did I say that? Or maybe that's just God nudging you and saying, mm -hmm. trying to get you to do something kind to someone else. Yeah. And that's God speaking. The question is, are we really listening yes. the best we should? Yes. So that's food for thought. That is food for thought. And, and that leads me to this week. Um, just my experience. Like It was like, first God put a song on my heart, which was a scripture. And I was like, okay. I was like, kind of like, oh, is that God? Like, I don't, I don't know. Let me just, you know, let me pray about it. And he put this song on my heart. And then, like, a couple nights later, um, we went to a marriage group. And then that was the scripture that was happening at marriage group. And even before that, um, before marriage group, like, two days later after that song, um, someone else spoke that scripture to me. So I'm like, okay. Now God is just really like slapping me in the face with this scripture. So what is he really yeah. trying to say? Like he, he spoke to me a couple ways so through used, Pete. He used a person, mm -hmm. he used a song, song, and then he used a small group. Yeah. All saying the same thing. Yeah. Wondering, are you listening? The exact same thing. <laughs> I was like, and I don't believe in coincidence. So I was like, oh no, this is him. Yeah. Yeah. But um, is that all we have? Yeah. I mean, for hearing from God. Okay. And the thing is. If you're not familiar with it, just jump in and practice. Jump in and be open yeah. to receive or your ears to hear. And, you know, the more you become aware, the more you become focused on, okay, God, how are you speaking to me today? Or, okay, I'm waiting and looking to see where you're going to come today. The more frequently you'll start to see, God's been speaking a whole lot. Mm -hmm. And the more and more you practice, the more and more you do this, you start to say, wow, you know, I hear from God all the time. And it's not so much an audible voice right. but you can feel the gentle nudge or the direction of his word yes and it is so awesome when you oh when you really get to that point it's just so amazing it's yeah. so awesome to hear god speak in whichever way he speaks to you yeah 
So um, do you want to pray and take us out? Sure. All right. Pray. So God, I just want to thank you for this opportunity to share uh, just from our experiences and what we come to know about you. And thank you for continuing to grow our understanding. And I pray for everyone here that's listening. Yes, pray that we all become more sensitive to hearing your voice, to hearing and understanding your word and understanding your ways. And God, if it's in dreams, if it's in songs, if it's in conversation with others, if it's just in reading and studying your word or being quiet and waiting for your gentle nudge, I pray that you would speak loud to all of us and that our ears would be open to hear more and more each day. Thank you for loving us. And we love you back in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I hope you enjoy this. Please like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you next week. Love see you later. You. Love Bye. You.